she has arranged the script, she has, um, been, she has been responsible for numerous things, to, so to make it very uh, organized. So, it's an honor to invite our VP Education candidate, Kornan Miknasso. So hello, my dear Toastmaster members. I am Porlan Vidasova and I am a candidate for VP Education for the next term. So when I learned that there is an open vacancy, vacancy for this position, I just told myself, just do it. So here I am now. Um, uh, ATC has been uh, a home for me for two years already. Maybe I was more active in the last year than in the previous year. And I wanted, uh, I'm going, uh, I am running as a VP education to, uh, to give, so finally to give back something to my beloved club. So, um, where are we headed? So the goal for, for the ATC, the, like the usual annual program, is to reach the President's Distinguished Club recognition. In order to do that, you know that there are 10 requirements, and six of them are in, within the scope of responsibility of VP education. So we need, uh, by the end of the term, we, were, we need to be able to have competent communicators, advanced communicators, competent leaders, and uh, advanced leaders. So here, uh, these things are, will be in my responsibility. And how I'm going to do that, how I'm going to reach that. You know that um, we all say that I, I have been a member <clears throat> for more than two years, and I, would, I should admit that I haven't received any award yet. I'm not a competent communicator, I'm not a competent leader. And you're saying like, why I should vote for you? And I'm telling you why. Because I know exactly why I'm not there yet. I know what problems I have encountered. I know what was the these obstacles I, I, I wished to overcome, but I didn't. So I know exactly what we need to drive people forward. I recently learned that, um, you know that, why we don't speak, why we don't take roles, why we don't do that or this. Everybody said that I don't have enough inspiration, I need motivation. But I recently learned that motivation is not key to success. The first thing is discipline. You need to discipline yourself to reach what you want. So I am, as a VP Education, gonna make strong discipline so strong rules in our club. So I am the people. I am the person who follows the rules, and I want to make sure that everybody follows the rules. So what I mean by that? How I'm going to do that? First thing is okay. As I have said, discipline is key to success, and road chart policy change. So this is the things like you know everybody's like um, saying that they put their names on chart and then they forget that they need to speak. So I'm going to revise the road chart policy, the timetable policy, and the um, so there will be more sports available for, for people who are really eager or really willing to say something. So the reward and punishment policy. So if you have something extraordinary happen to you and you did not deliver your speech, so what's going to happen to you? Or you have done something extraordinary, again, you will be, re you will be rewarded. I know that you would probably want me to give something, uh, some exact example, how I'm going to do that, but I'm not sure yet, I would admit that. And I think that this is the thing which I'm going to discuss with my team members in the future when the uh, officers will be elected. The mentorship program. As previous candidates uh, have mentioned, that mentorship is something which is very important. I, though I was <clears throat> appointed a mentor when I came to the club, I actually have not worked with him. I have not actually seen him since that. So what I'm saying is that this um, mentorship thing should be really paid attention to, because uh, when we work person to person, it's you know it's win-win position. Both counterparts win. So this is uh, eligibility to speak, uh, it also goes to the reward and punishment uh, thing and so this is exactly the steps, I mean the, the, 
the milestones, the steps, how I'm gonna, how I'm gonna do that discipline thing in the ATC. And <clears throat> in uh, going back to the, so I'm, as I'm the only candidate, I mean, well, I'm proud that I'm the only one. I mean, it makes my job easier than for the uh, candidates for president, but <coughs> think why I should vote for you. And these are some reasons why you should do that. The first thing is that I told you discipline, follow the rules. I am the person who follows the rules. The second is I'm a very responsible person as I have. I done as I, I done I have previously told. And as I have recently learned that I'm a creative one, so it means that I will be a, a, a good asset for the officers team. And I'm open for discussion and critics. So if you have something to say, I, I will not say like, oh, you have no power here. So I listen to you, I'm open. And I'm funny, yeah. Maybe some people will choose me for that. So that's it. I mean, thank you very much for listening and I'm open for your questions.